Okay, so my needle is threaded. I've made my quilter's knot. Now I'm ready to start sewing these two pieces together. There are lots of videos out there about the whip stitch or the flat back stitch, the ladder stitch. I use the whip stitch for the most part. Sometimes when it's curved piece, I'll use a flat back stitch. Um, or sometimes I just, you know, I go back and forth, so depending on my mood. But to start any of that, I have to do a knot at the beginning. And I like, there's two knots I like to do. One is a figure eight knot. And then the other one is something that Sue Daly calls the knicker knot. So I'm going to show you both of them. I've threaded my needle with some um, fairly heavy, like I think this is an Eleganza thread. And I am uh, have a basted two one and a half inch hexagons with this really fun fabric from Brazil, which has a nice open weave so I can get this heavy needle through. Obviously, normally when you're doing English paper piecing, you are gonna want to use like a size 11 or higher needle if you can, and uh, like a thinner thread, maybe a 60 or an 80 weight polyester. Okay, so I'm gonna come up into the corner here up with the hexagon that's closest to me. I have to give it a little tuck. I'm gonna go corner to corner. I'm going to tug again. And I go through once. Then I'm gonna go corner to corner again. And this is where I'm gonna do a figure eight knot. You see I'm pulling this thread out. I'm gonna give it a twist. So you can see I have an X. And now that is gonna come up and over the needle. Then when I give it a pull, You'll see here that I have a figure eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. So normally you would just do that once, but I'm gonna go through. And the other thing to notice is that I'm not pulling all the way through. So my needle is halfway through. I'm gonna pull this out, give it a twist. So I have an X and then bring this up and over and then give it another little tug. One more time. I'm gonna go through here. Again, you would be using a much thinner needle. The needle is halfway through. We have a little bit on each side. I'm gonna give this a pull, twist, up and over. And you'll know it's right if when you pull it out, you've got a figure eight right here. I'm gonna give it a pull. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Sue Daly has, in one of her videos, something she calls the knicker knot, and you can go watch her video, but I'll also do it here. So same thing, I'm gonna go halfway through. So now I have thread that's coming off of the fabric and thread that's coming off my needle, and I'm gonna use both of these. Same piece of thread, but coming from two different places. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna go the back of the needle, then I'm going to take this one coming off the needle and I'm going to go the opposite direction, the other way, and give it a tug. And you'll also see you got a figure eight. So really you're doing the same thing. I think somebody who knows a lot about knots might correct me. Okay, I'm going to go through here again. I'm going to go take this one coming off the fabric. So I'm going to go behind the needle down. I'll hold it with my thumb. Then this one I'm going to bring it up over behind the needle, hold it, give it a little tug. Again, you can see that kind of like a figure eight. All right, now I'm not gonna stitch all the way to the end because it's actually kind of painful to sew with this. So I would go all the way to the end and then do go through once, go through again and do your knot. Sometimes if I'm using an 80 weight thread, there's gonna be a lot of pieces with a lot of tension on them. I might even do a second knot and uh, that's it. So that is the first one is called uh, what I call a figure eight knot. And then the second one is what Sue Daly calls a knicker knot. So happy stitching.